Mexico. FP, you should be ashamed of yourself. Letting my sweet, innocent daughter live in sin in that soup can you call a trailer? You think I'm a fan of this arrangement? You're talking to the guy who is sleeping on a pull-out sofa with his son so your daughter can have his bedroom. You're doing that? Look, Alice, take it from a guy whose son chose being homeless over living with his old man. Make things right with her before it's too late. Play has not been ruled out. They found it, FP. They found it. We should have known better. I should have known better. We should have driven that damn car farther out of town. Well, how could you have known the junkyard Steve drags the swamp for people's cast-offs? It's, it's dumb luck. It's Jones' luck, you mean? Should Chick be here, considering he's the one that brained the guy? Don't worry about Chick. Normally, I would disagree, definitely worry about Chick, but he doesn't know anything about the car. When we got to the swamp, we wiped the thing clean of prints before we pushed it in. Wearing gloves? I think I'm so. I'm pretty sure. What do you mean, you think so? No, 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 we were. We, we 100% were. Hey, Chick. Hey, Anybody comes around asking questions, we don't know anything. We don't talk to anyone. We act like everything's normal. Including, Betty, you coming home so you're not nesting with a bunch of serpents. No, you are not gonna use this to manipulate me, Mom. You know the deal. I come home when Chick leaves. Okay, everybody, be cool. In the unlikely event that something happens, we batten down the hatches. Until then, life goes on, and nobody goes anywhere near that car up together, driven you both completely insane. Talking to the sheriff's son about that car, you didn't think that that was going to raise any red flags. No, Kevin didn't suspect anything. And at least we know what's going on now. Yeah, which is that Chick's drug dealer stole someone's car before he made his run to our house. Dwayne didn't have wheels. He was always borrowing his girlfriend's car. Someone called the shady man's phone while I had it, and she sounded like a crazy person, but not like there was a lot of love lost between her and Dwayne. That could be Darla, yeah. Is this Darla somebody that we need to be worried about? I don't really know her. Shocker. Gee, Chick, have you ever actually been helpful in any way to anyone? <laughs> Enough, Elizabeth. All right, well, let's stick to the plan. This has nothing to do with us. Dwayne stole Darla's car, Darla got it back. Let's hope it ends there. And pack your things, Betty, because this honeymoon is over. Over. You two playing house and running around town like loose cannons is beyond the pale. We don't want Hal finding out about this. Last thing we need is for him to stick his nose in it. I'll move out. I'll get a place. Betty, it's your house, not mine. Fine. I'll come back home after Chick's gone. Oh, I'm done with your ultimatums, young lady. You're coming home now. And if you don't back me up on this FP, I will tear this trailer apart with my bare hands. because I wanted to do it myself. So thank you for what you did. I also wanted you to hear it directly from me that I am done attacking and disavowing the South Side. It's where I'm from, and I should be proud of that. And from now on, I will be. And like my daughter, I will fight tooth and nail for it.